Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Chris Spivey, and we're going to talk about Haunted West. So, Haunted West. Um, so, that just finished Kickstarter, I believe, um, and it will be coming out in December of this year. Uh, I'm very intrigued about the premise of, of your book. Uh, where did the, the idea for it come from? Well, when I was growing up in Alabama, we would have... So every Saturday morning, I would get a chance to watch cartoons for about an hour before my grandmother would come down and sort of acquire the television because in Alabama, they would show Westerns really early in the morning, almost from like nine or 10 until about two in the afternoon. And so it was a struggle to see who would get the TV uh, and she would always win. And at first I was sort of begrudgingly, I'd watch them with her. And then it sort of became our weekly ritual and it became like a bonding thing that we would do together. And even as I began to get in, get into Westerns at that point in time, I would never see anyone that looked like me. And if I did, they were always sort of the butt of everyone else's joke, and then they'd be quickly moved off screen. And I would say even at an early age, that just sort of always stuck with me. And then I started reading more Westerns. I would delve into like lots of different ones, and I still couldn't find anything that gave the proper rep representation for me. Then coupled with a love of history and uncovering the actual history of America and all the diverse peoples from backgrounds, from different genders, from different ethnicities, everything existed during the American West. And without those people, we wouldn't be here now. And I wanted to tell their story to sort of elevate those forgotten voices, to bring those to the forefront so people could actually see that the West was a myriad of different people and not the white West whitewash rendition that we always see from Hollywood. Hmm. And um, this system has its own rules, I believe. It's not a, it's not a Call of Cthulhu, it's not a D&D 5e, it's its own thing. Can you explain a little bit more about that? One of the things that any good system does is it supports the game and the message in the book that you're trying to do. And after extensive research in other systems and having written for lots of different people, none of the systems I saw did what I wanted Haunted West to do because it's trying to accomplish a lot where you can have adventures from spaghetti westerns to pulp style to gritty horror to people dying of dysentery on the Oregon Trail. And to be able to encompass all of those things, I decided the best course of action was to build my own system that is layered and tiered so you can have it be more realistic and gritty by removing the pulpier elements. And if that's written in at the core of the system, it's easier to do and implement than it is to do widgets and twists later on the back end. Okay. Now, the, the theme of this game is not just a Western. It's a weird West. Uh, it has, it has, it has uh, supernatural elements to it. Uh, can you elaborate what you mean by supernatural? Do you mean like ghosts or vampires, werewolves? or? One of the, the big things for the book was that it could be played however a narrator, which is what we're calling a game moderator, and their players wanted to do. And to be able to do that, the book itself, is the entire concept is layered we will provide an actual real historical outline of the Old West, all the people in it, the events and everything else and provide context for their actions. And on top of that, we've layered the Weird West, which the real Weird West for us ranges from supernatural with vampires, ghosts, werewolves, from different cultures of the time and all their different folklores. We've taken some of those things, but we've also added in grays because gray in the old West would be incredible. You sort of have like the flying saucer and you've got your cowboys versus aliens basically. And then on top of that, thanks to the Kickstarter, they actually, one of the stretch goals was the mythos and the mythos was unlocked. So now we have the weird West the mythos and to top it all off, I'm created an alternate timeline for the game that we're going to touch on in the core book. But as the core book is so massive, I had to decide how much of the alternate timeline goes in. But it focuses on the reconstruction actually being successful. And if the reconstruction had actually worked, that changes America, the world, and everything else in our entire known history. Would you recommend for game masters, if they want to play this system, is there anything like to read or to watch? Um, so well, I'm going to include a list of books inside for in the core book that I use, well, the entire team used to write the book and some different other media and other things. And it's going to range from great dramas in the 50s like High Noon all the way up to, oh, I forgot what it was called, but the Wesley Snipes Weird West thing where he's basically fighting Catholic priest in the Old West. So you have like a, a range of different options. 
And one of the big influences, even for the book, was still the uh, Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. Okay. Okay, excellent. Um, it, it, when you talk about uh, diversity um, for Hunter West, uh, can we, what would you, how would you, so when I grew up, the first Western I saw, and I, I love Westerns growing up, except John Wayne movies, uh, but I was always a big fan of Clint Eastwood, uh, his stuff. And it wasn't until the movie Posse uh, with Mary Van Peoples, um, <laughs> Uh, kind of like blew my mind. Like, wow, this is this is something I never thought I wanted to see, but I'm I'm enjoying it. You know, I never I never knew. And then I started looking more into um, um, the Lone Ranger and finding out that he was based on Bass Reeves and and finding out that this this his story is actually much more remarkable than the Lone Ranger stories, in my opinion. I mean, it's yeah. it's all true. And the, the fact he was one of the most successful bounty hunters of all time during that era. Um, so when you, when you mention diversity, like like do you mean what do you mean exactly for for the system well i mean that we're we fully intend to try to bring forth all the voices that were there be they first nations people be they people from the first nations be they african-american be they chinese immigrants be they jewish the jewish people that were there we're encompassing all of those voices to try to elevate them and to be able to do that i had a, an incredible team of diverse voices i think this was the largest team i've ever had of maybe 15 people and from different backgrounds and it's great to have all their input because as much as I want to do this, I am, cannot be a spokesman for everyone else if it's not my story and my struggle. And to be able to properly represent those things, I need someone from that viewpoint to tell me what is the right way to go forward with this. Because I can present this great idea, I, say, I think this is it and what we should do. And I can hear someone say, well, that is a good idea, but you're forgetting about this event that happened that's linked to this, that leads to this thing that is sort of systemic in our current culture. And okay. all of us have blind spots and you need people to help you see past those. Okay. When it comes to the art of the book, uh, what, what, who have you assembled to help create your, your vision? Um, so there's a mix of different artists. Uh, Corey Redford, Alex Mayo, Brennan Reese, and Jabari Weathers uh, have all sort of contributed to the art and the style of the book. And I am beyond elated to have each and every one of their talents helping with us. Okay. Is there anything that I haven't asked or anyone other interviewers haven't asked you that you want to share about this book? Uh, that it is the biggest project my company has done to date. And the amount of research that everyone has poured into it is phenomenal. The stores in the old West are impossible to encompass and encapsulate into one book which is why the hope is that if this is successful and people like it, we can make some additional source books to cover more of the ultimate timeline, the other different aspects of the West and keep elevating all these voices and moving forward. Okay, excellent. And where can someone that wants to check out or buy the book go? They can buy it on pre-order right now through Backer Kit, on Haunted West Backer Kit. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time. And um, uh, if you want to find more, want to talk to more, he's very accessible on Twitter at uh, at Darker Hue Studios, I believe, at, at Twitter. Uh, that's it, darker <laughs> underscore hue. Excellent. And I uh, guess- I'm always for ready for a good Western or superhero debate. <laughs> <laughs> and again, thank you everyone for watching.